and start off. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Dendi. And I'm this... Katsu. Please don't interrupt me. No, bruh. Hi, start, everybody. Just start, just start, just start. Roll. Hi everybody, I'm Tendi and this is a 235 and that's a man. Oh wow, thank you for the treasure review. Um, today we're going to be doing a review about the new BMW 235i and... Oh, Grand Coupe by the way. First things first, this key. It's made of plastic, it feels trashy, it's cheap, I don't like it. If I'm driving an expensive car, I need to feel it's expensive. Yeah. This button is for like specialized features that you would like on. Maybe on a rainy day, you would like it to like close your windows and your sunroof. You press that. Boots. It looks cheap. Look at that. Doesn't even look like the shape of the car. Yeah. I like the BMW logo that they've engraved there for the lock button. I like that. And the Very good thing. Nice. Unlock button is still cheap. I don't like it. I oh. like the M colors. Mm. And. Piano finish on the M colors. Uh, just give me a second. Specialized key for if you lock your car, your the key fob in the boots. Yeah. So let's get down with this review and tell you guys what you about to about the M two three five I. Stance and performance. Here we go. When we come to this part of the BMW two three five I, you see, you see, we got like vents and everything here. That's real. Cause this, you can actually zoom in and check it out. It's actually real. It goes to the thing, it goes to the tire so it can cool down the brake calipers because you know BMW drivers always drive fast and stuff like that. So, yeah, and as we all know, the faster you move, air becomes like cheese, becomes heavier. Yeah, so as air is going down here, it keeps the nose lower to the ground, which is good mm. for BMW yeah. drivers. Because it's kind of like downforce, yeah. you know, downforce. Yes, okay, moving on to the tires of the BMW 235. I know I've been saying this a lot, but anyway. What yeah. are these? 19s? 20s? What are these? Where 19s. Are these? Oh, 19s. These are 19s. They're actually nice. Um, I like the pattern. I don't but like the design. It kind of makes it hard when you want to wash them. Since Tindy's been driving this car the whole week and like, look how dirty it is. But anyway, we're going to solve that later on the day. Um, I kind of like the styling. Tindy disagrees with me. I don't know why. But it's kind of nice. I just hate the fact that you can't really wash them easily. That's the problem. And it kind of displays the nice blue calipers. Um, blue calipers. Everybody it's got knows an M blue badge. I don't know if you guys can see it properly there. It's got an M badge. I think it's a, I think it's a four piston. I'm not sure. So it's gonna, we're gonna pin, yeah, put down the piston. link. We're gonna put down the link on the description below, and then you guys can check it out. And then, yeah. And then, I like the, the it's gold, but it's got, it's got, it's got um, what you call, low profile tires, which is kind of not good in South Africa because it's got a lot of potholes and stuff, but. Anyway, it's for performance purposes, so we just gotta... And I can feel my spine in... Okay. To explain, we live in a complex where um, there's a lot of humps. Uh -huh. And let me just say my spine. I feel like I'm getting too old to be doing these things. Exactly. So, yes. but Moving on. BMW, we like that styling. Moving, Moving on. on. M-Badge to let you know what you're driving. Mm -hmm. okay. And letting the guy that's next to you know what you're driving. And you should not mess with you because you're a BMW driver and you don't need... You don't use these. And we know the all the Audi stuff. drivers. Yeah. Yeah. Pussy, 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 pussy. <laughs> okay, moving on. We're moving to the mirror, which is kind of stylish. I like it. Like we said, indicators, BMW drivers, don't forget that. So I don't think these things will be used as more often. But anyways, let's move on. BMW has wasted so much money putting that there. How, how you know BMW spends like yeah. maybe $2 million developing a single button. Now imagine how much they've spent developing this LED strip for the indicator. But I don't blame Only them. Only for it never to be used in its life. But I don't never. blame them. I don't blame them because look at this car. It actually looks nice with that indicator. Even though it's not going to be used. It's never but be used. it's going to look nice. It looks yes. nice. And I like the black piano finish. Like this car is full of, it's so full of black piano finishes. Which makes it so nice and I don't know. So classy should we say. For BMW drivers by the way. Moving on. Pillarless doors. Coolest thing I would want to have that any day. Hello, Rosa. Hmm. Look at that. Look at that. You could do that again, over and over again. Look at that. 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 This is a, a great styling for BMW. I like what they did with the pillarless doors. 
Makes it makes, makes it look look like you're driving like you know those expensive supercars. Super like, ah, oh, look at me. Oh, like, oh, I got nothing to balance, you know. But it's a nice it's a nice feature. I like it. I like it. And look at that. Look at that glass. Oh my god. Oh my god. BMW did a great job on this. I don't wanna lie. Did a great job on this. Okay. Oh, another thing. No soft closed doors. Yeah. That's irritating. Makes you feel like you're driving a Toyota Corolla or something. MP200. Listen MP200. to that. MP200. MP200. You even right. MP200. Listen to that. How BMW is that? Anyway, moving on. Talking about the sunroof out here. Oh, it's got a nice, almost, almost the whole roof basically. It's not really panoramic, but panoramic. Yeah, panoramic. It's like half panoramic, so it's like ramic in a way. But anyway, it's got a nice styling and everything to it. With that area. Classic BMW fun. Always, I always like there. I like always that. Always there. Yeah, yeah. It's been there since like the E90 3 Series. Uh -huh. Back actually, back to way like all the BMWs, like almost no, no, all no, of the. No, no, no. But cars. I'm saying that. Oh, same that's how style. Yes, 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 right. Spin, right this right. is the E90. Okay. Move One on. more thing about this car. Silhouette. I don't like it. The shape. It's so sleek in the front. It's sleek. It gradually grows and then just becomes fat at the back. Just like, <laughs> no. This should have looked way more if you think about it. I understand it's a coupe look, but if yeah, it's a coupe, why does it have four doors? It... BMW needs to get their style. No, I kind of like the styling though. If you think about it, everything is becoming modern. Everybody like, if you want, if you want a coupe, but you got like two kids and your wife, what do you do? What's the definition of a coupe? I know exactly what, the what is the definition. But wait, a two-door car. Exactly. It's okay. It's a coupe four-door. Mm. Uh, no, a coupe, coupe is specified with no, that. no, no, no. A coupe is the two-door version of the four-door. Thank you. But then they go and make a four-door version of the two-door, which was originally a four-door. That's why they called it the Grand Coupe. Mm. I'm a genius. Let's move on. <laughs> I don't like these lights. I don't like them. If you get that in your window, you get it. They just... It looks like BMW was lazy and they got... And they just cut it off here. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I just... No. <laughs> but, but I kind of like them because it makes it like... You know? I'm not... I'm not... I, you know what? Never mind. Um... It kind of looks, it kind of looks nice. I like the styling. It looks nice, nice and sleek, kind of small and everything. There's looks like it's got smaller that. eyes. You know what I'm trying to say? There's nothing Those sneak people that live that. next to the Asian part. But anyway, I'm not gonna say the names. <laughs> and you're driving, you got that badge that tells everybody what you're driving. An M235i, which is a very special car. Get okay, no time. It is, it is, it is. I like it. I also like I this black you now. Piano. You step into the 135. It's exactly the same feel and everything. Yeah, probably yes, probably no. So it's not a special car. Okay, whatever. Anyways, we move on to the ducktail spoiler. Oh my god, look at that black piano finish with those nice curving edges. Oh my god. I feel like it should have been longer, like the one that you get on the M335i. Yeah, yeah. It should have made it bigger though. That's, That's gonna look sense. more sportier, more Just like nicer. Just like his dad. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. And moving on to oh another feature that we forgot to tell you about this guy, um it doesn't have that you know that new BMW like open the bonnet thing, like bonnet. The button is always under here, under the boot. You know what I'm trying to say? Um the button to open the boot is underneath the lighting of the number plate, basically. And there's no the electronic tailgate. No, oh, but I think you can get that as an extra. So oh, yes, you yes, can, guys, yes, yes. Guys, when you wanna purchase one so of these, so we are scam. We, we 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 couldn't afford. Basically, yeah. <laughs> we are stuck. And then, moving on. Oh, letting you know what you're driving. This is the four-wheel drive BMW X Drive. X Drive. Fancy so, way of saying four-wheel drive. drive. For the um, um, BMW. I hate bias. it. X Drive. The but axles overall, are connected in an X. Yeah. So how can you call it an X Drive? Exactly. But overall, I kind of like the pack, man. You know. I don't like nice it. Nice and slick. <laughs> We need a bigger diffuser. Oh yes, yes. Much, much, much bigger diffuser. Get those, you know, those diffuser, those vents that are coming up underneath the diffuser. You know what I'm talking about? You know, petrol heads. Yes. And then going to the exhaust. Um, then what do you think? Don't like them. Yeah. I, I feel like agree. they should go back to circular pipes. I was thinking, why don't they like? You see, if you look carefully at this part, it's like it's got this huge tailpiece and then it's got a smaller and tailpiece inside. Why did they do? Shouldn't they just like make one tailpiece and like? And they could have saved money on that if I think about it. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. Tell us what you think on the comments below. And then, um, oh, then there's a flap in there. Oh, then there's a flap in. I don't know if you guys can actually see. This is for do like the verpaz, as you guys call it in South Africa. So yeah, we live in South Africa. Another BMW feature that 
It's not so BMW. Look at that. Fake. Why did they do that? Why? Why? You should have just left the styling and just leave it like that. Anyway, stop pointing my nose. <laughs> should have left it like You don't have like, big Oh, and it's got also those nice reflectors. Sensors for your rear camera, which is right here. These are the sensors for your rear camera, which is right here. And then here, um, I think we don't need a knife to open that. But this is where you put your, you know, when, when you like stuck, typically, then, the then they tow you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Oh, it's got this nice piano finish now. Yeah. That's also nice I don't picture. like that. Yeah. You, always, you don't like anything. But anyway, <laughs> that's actually nice. It's actually nice. Just like he's there. Okay, now we go to the boot, which is enormous. That's Look Katsu's that. purse. Yeah, it's my purse. Never mind that. It's mine. Yeah. I use purses a lot. And then, yeah, basically, this boot is actually big. I think. No, it's not. It is kind of. Okay, no, it's, it's not as big as, you know, your S classes and stuff. But the CLA 35 has a bigger boot. Yeah. But I'm sure we can get Dendi easily in there. And you can fit, and you can, you can, you still have some more rooms, um, room for yourselves. Look, you can get it nice and easy, and can even close the boot, and it sits nice and comfortably. That's actually a cool feature for BMW. So let's move on and let's trade like we forgot about him and everything. You can cut. Three hours later. You see, he's nice and well and comfortable in there, so we don't have to worry about him. So yeah, let's continue. Let me go in the car, and then I'm gonna do one of the most crazy takeoffs ever. Mm. Are you recording? Yep. Fact, those who know the previous um, two series, well, mm. the 35 was a uh, straight six in yeah. 96 for our European friends. Yeah. Um, guess what? It's gone. We've got one, two, three, four cylinders in my bank account. Only four cylinders. Which, my boy, how they've massacred you. Mm. It used to be so big and now you're trans. Versionalized. But one thing about the BMW, I kind of saw that this this kind of like fake carbon fiber on the thing. Why would you do that? Or is it real? Maybe I'm not seeing no, that's properly. fake. That's it's fake carbon fake. fiber. Why would BMW do that? But I kind of like the way they specified that the engine is in performance. Imagine going to a show, opening up the room, like, oh, this guy drives an M performance. But it's a four cylinder. How weird is that? Two liter, turbocharged, twin turbocharged, four cylinder. Four cylinder. How weird is that? And look at the engine, it's kind of small. It's like I can take it and put it in my backpack and leave with it. Weird. It's bigger than my child. Imagine that. Yeah, oh, by the way, Tindy is a child for those viewers that don't know that Tindy is a child. But anyway, that's content for another day. Definitely. Uh, okay, and then moving on. This engine is quite clean, actually. We kind of like the styling. It's got um, a, what you call this? A, is it a roll a bar? Crossbar. A crossbar to protect the strengthening of the chassis as you accelerate and stuff, like, since it's four wheel drive and stuff like that. And yeah, basically, yeah, and to aid the right weight. For the front wheels to go down and stuff like that anyway now let's get into the stuff update. that everybody wants to know yeah power we've got 301 horsepower uh which is cut, about cut. 235 right specs yeah. the stuff that people really want to know yeah 225 kilowatts of power producing mm -hmm. just like my dad <laughs> it's got 301 horsepower just like my dad yeah, exactly uh what else 450 newton meters of torque which is quite a lot for such a small car yeah actually uh for no one's gonna be pulling a horse yeah you won't be actually pulling a horse since we live in south africa and stuff like that but people will be pulling cars and stuff so maybe you might buy this for would you really pull a car with the two three times? i would why not right that would be the fastest car in the world <laughs> anyway <laughs> moving on transmission we've got an eight speed dual clutch i love that bmw Seamless shifting, yeah, honestly. And I like the fact that it's eight speed because in the eighth gear you get nice, um, you get your cruising speed, which has got nice comfort in the highway, which is actually good. Just like my dad. Yeah. Anyways, the thing is, it's X drive and it's sending power to all four wheels. But if we must be honest, the back wheels really kick in when you. This thing is basically front wheel drive, sixty percent of the time. The yeah. back wheels kick in. Only when they detect slip, if I must be honest. So about 40%. Yes. So it's got a 60-40 split. So basically the back wheels, for those the, for those that don't know, the back wheels can only fit 40% of the power of this engine. Which is not that much because it's only got one, two, three, four exactly. cylinders in the bank account. So it's basically like it's getting one and a half pistons of the back, basically. Something like that. You guys can do that. One and a half. Yeah, anyway. Moving on. We can't really see the tables of this car because it's all compact and hidden inside there. Which is Just one thing I don't it. like about these cars because you can't really see, you can't really brag to your friends like, oh, look at mine, it's a twin tail, you know, stuff like that. But I like this 
big trombone zone basically which is full of your um your intercooler your fans and everything and they kind of you hit say that. you like that yeah. but it's something not to like exactly. because if i were to drive into you my intercooler would be gone what yeah. else is here what else is your here? fans and everything my fan would be gone radiator oh my so God. no that's actually a bad thing everything should be moved back if you're gonna move the engine and then like leave BMW. a big space for a crumple zone bmw exactly. consumer advice take that listen we to us we know about. everything anyways moving on okay now we're back on the interior um the bonnet is open i'll go close it okay then he's gonna close the bonnet while i talk about this interior um it's got on a modern screen which is what consumers like these days so yeah i kind of like it oh by the way the nice thing about this screen like as Tindy was closing the bonnet it tells you what you see now everything is well don't mind that Tindy was listening to tatega anyway so it's got your uh, apple carplay android play and everything so it's also a nice feature so you can connect to your digital so all your iphone users and your soft android close doors and please and then it's got this nice um styling it's kind of like so bmw because the dash is almost face to the driver which i like Reminiscent of the this. old yeah. E40 Even the old 5 series and stuff They had this styling which is also nice Just like yeah. my dad And then, yeah, can you comment on the chair? What do you think? I like this rubberized leather mm -hmm. It's fake material But it feels so premium Yeah, that's beautiful. I like free. this thing because it's what contains the mood lighting and sensors But yeah. listen to that yeah, it's so I wouldn't cool. be impressed with my money Yeah Feel that? But the dash is actually, it's actually nice it. though. The dash is actually nice with those nice leather stitching. Makes stitching. you want to vomit. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, Look and then this. there's also used um, plastic here. I'm actually not sure of this. Why did Bimbali do that? But anyway, this is what you're getting for the money. Exactly. But anyway, we like this leather. Be telling you about your average and stuff like that, which is, you all know the rules. Anyway, did you notice that this has got... Mm, sensory very sensory buttons look at that look at that look at the infotainment touch oh capacity. yeah it's it's, it's touch it's, capacity yeah, yeah. buttons mm -hmm. yes and let's come to the important stuff mm. pedal shifts obviously mm -hmm. i mean loves that Ooh. yeah steering wheel feels nice and comfy yeah. honestly BMW, bmw has always caught that right and that's one point we can give to bmw that that's nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely sound system is quite good from the inside outside not so good not so good yeah, it sounds like your speakers are broken or something but anyway this little gear matter. knob mm. looks like a golf ball a oh. golf what, what is, what's, what's that thing called not a golf ball the, the stick that golf you use golf club exactly yes it looks like my gentleman's sausage oh no moving, moving on so yeah these buttons here very good yeah. i love them Mm. Start, stop, sport, mm. comfort, eco, eco pro, pro, which is a sin. This car never goes on to eco pro. We mm. never put it on eco pro. That is yeah. a sin to us. But for those Always that want to put it on eco pro, it's there. Basically, um, cuts off like one c a cylinder of your engine. I mean, mm. yeah. But we're gonna basically we wanna put a link on the screen below just to confirm with that. And then yeah, when you've got eco pro, comfort, and sports, sports parts in this car is always on sports, even on during the rough days like your twenty fifth month end, bruh. It's always on sport. You can even push this car to the garage. You'll never go in comfort. Anyway, anyways, Eco Pro. Mm. I, just, I, I can I just ramble on here. Yeah. Eco yeah. Pro. Why would you buy a sports car to put Eco Pro on? Exactly. Why? If you buy the sports car, you buy it with the intention that I'm gonna spend most of my life working for petrol to keep this car running. Exactly. Shout out to Uncle Vernon. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, then oh, I also like this um. Piano finish. They've been, they've used a lot of piano finish in this car, even on the outside. This black piano finish, which is actually nice, but it gets boring when the car is dirty because now it's got fingerprints everywhere, and then you have to like always keep on cleaning and stuff. Like use these keys and keep on cleaning, which is kind of boring, and it's easy to scratch. Also, this screen, like I don't know whether we're actually gonna do a test review on how how easy it is to scratch the screen. But anyway, moving on. Oh, one more thing. Yeah, we need to show them the dials. Yeah, the dials. Oh, the dials, yes, yes. The dials, can, you can you can, you can can play around with the dials the way you want them. It shows you. No, 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 no. Yeah. This is on CarPlay. This is on Apple CarPlay. Apple they, CarPlay. Uh, so now we're in the BMW in. infotainment system. So you uh, click on driving, driving information. information. Sports, Sports display. display. Look and then it shows that. all your talk that you're producing at the time. Your kilowatts, your power. You're even measuring your G-forces for every turning corner. This is just something as your oil temperature. Okay, what did I press? 
See, it's very touch sensitive. So yeah, and then it's got your uh, bars. This is your boost bars for your table and stuff. And then this is your um oil um temperature. So it's actually a good feature for me. I like that because you can already play around with your car and stuff like that. And you can also set the dials whenever the time you put in sport mode and it looks like nice and cool and everything. So it's actually a nice car. One more thing alerts you which doors are open, which is a nice car. Even though you know which doors are open because you can just look back. But anyway, moving on, yeah. Another thing I also don't like about this car. Well, I kind of, I won't say I don't like it, but it's kind of useless. BMW, why did you waste your time putting these on? <laughs> They're never gonna be used. Indicators, <laughs> people. <laughs> but in overall, I kind of like this car. The interior is nice, and even yes. though I don't like the headroom, it's kind of compact in here, you know. And I'm a very short person, but look at this. But we're gonna do the back seat right now, so yeah. Yes. Now we're in the back seat of the BMW 235i. Um, it's kind of comfy in here, you know. But I don't like the headroom though. I'm a really short person, but look at this. I'm sitting upright, but yet my head is touching. So for I'm those who are him, but my head isn't touching. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. What time is it now? We're ten to. Ah, we'll be done. Ah, ah, we are among the five two ones. That's good. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna edit that out. One. Yeah, just do another scene. We'll edit it out. So the legroom interior uh, space, Trent. This that's Trent's uh, um, driving position. And then it's actually sitting nice and comfortable. So it does have nice living room. Not yeah, comfortable, space. there's no fridge. Yeah, I know. But it's actually nice. And I'm also sitting comfortable. And that's also the camera's been sitting position. So that's actually nice. By the way, his name is Kuti PK. Whatever. You can check the link description below. What is it? Uh, P3K. Yeah. What, what gaming? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. I got bored. So, yeah, we're going to put his link. You can check out for those gamers that are also on the channel. M color stitching on the seat belts. Yeah. Nice. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Makes mm -hmm. you feel like you're driving. So yeah, overall it is a nice car. It is a nice car. I like it. And I see myself driving with everything. I don't. Yeah. So BMW, besides the fake vents and the indicators. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't put on indicators next time. <laughs> Stop wasting your money. Don't you could have indeed. used that indicator money. To give us real leather here at the back seat. Then it's gonna make then it's gonna make us to get to be fired by Mrs. Wilson, but anyway, never mind that. Um overall, I like the car. I like the car. And I, I see I see why BMW are trying to design this. I car. don't. And like this is a good um car for BMW drivers. So they should have yeah. just kept the normal two series. Yeah. I feel like this was just another way for them to extend their money income. Mm -hmm. I get why it makes sense businessically, but Consumerically, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, because the price is a bit more expensive. Yeah. But compared to a CLA 45 or 35, 35, yeah, this which one cheaper. would you rather get? Because yeah. this is cheaper. This is cheaper than the CLA. So. Pricing of this is 765. Yeah, they start from the yes, thousand. Yeah. Not rands. Rand. In rands. In rands. Dollars for the American views. Yeah. And then for the CLA, it starts at 940, I think. So you see, there is a big difference right there. So if you're buying according to price wise, and stuff, I this guess, is cheaper, but yeah. it's also cheaper. Uh, do you think they got it? But that? okay, yeah, yeah, it's cheaper. So thanks for watching our channel. Oh, and on the CLA 35, okay, the indicators okay. actually work. Yeah. So and anyway, will be used. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys for watching our channel. I think we're gonna do another video for that. My name is Dendi. We'll do it like. Oh, yeah, okay. oh, yeah, let's, let's go outside here. and let's do the like. The uh, intro. <laughs>